Well, hello, welcome to Drawing with Fire. I'm Valerie, neighborhood biography artist. I'm Drawing with Javi. Okay. Today we're doing a squirrel. I found the cutest photo. Now, this is only half the photo, it's this whole body. But I just thought this coy little squirrel was awesome. Now, I'm doing it a little bit bigger because I realized why I don't like the acorns is because I did it too small and everything looks clumped up and there's not a whole lot of value difference. So that's part of the problem. But I wanted to make sure we got a good eye and could really see his face. So I did this one at 5 by 7 on basswood. And the Super Toasties have the pattern. Now I was heating up my 18 small, but we need to go ahead and put the eye in first. So I'm going to switch you over to... Let's see here. Over to the medium. Yep, we're going to say, did we? No, we didn't. That would be the problem, probably. What do you want to do? Because it's buffering. Okay, it's back now. Hi, David. Sorry. <laughs> Don't know why it's buffering, other than I forgot to reset the router. That may be part of the problem. If we have to reset, just don't go anywhere, and I won't touch the live stream, and then hopefully it'll come back. Yep. So, hey, Spence. Alrighty, so we're going to start with the eye. So we... I'm hot. So, uh, Casper Boo... I, Carrie. Carrie, that's right. And Lynx Lady... Shirley. Shirley. Wow, you're good. Um, <laughs> they're the paid... To, they're part of the paid... To well, I, I, I better I know that. who they are. I see that. Um, I just, like, I'm seeing some some new names like uh, David Albuquerque that sounds, he's been in he's been in that sounds like a private eye name from like some that's because you're used to fiction. Albuquerque being a state like David Albuquerque or a city sorry private eye alright so I'm just going in and quickly putting in the dark the darkest part of the eyeball well, Spence is asking does everyone always do the eye first um you don't have to I tend to do it so two things I don't lose it Sometimes the pattern can be chaotic and you can lose the eye. So I do it the eyes and nose so you don't lose so I don't lose it. And two, it tends to be some of the darkest areas, even with a light blue or green eye, there's still the pupil. So it tends to be like the darkest area and it allows to help adjust as you're going. So it just and it also I think a lot of people suffer, and sometimes I do, suffer with what they call um, blank ca canvas syndrome, where they get everything going and they're ready to go, and then they kind of get caught up and they're nothing, being nothing on the canvas, and you're not sure where to start, and you're worried about screwing up, and so if you just jump in and do the eye, you you've already completely shut that down. So we got a dark here. So I'll quickly get the eye in and we'll go straight into doing the short fur. I just wanted to make sure you gotta make sure these highlights curve because the eyeball curves. So well, knock on wood, we have an excellent connection right now, so. You had to go and do it, didn't you? Well, I'm just, you had it's to my go. job to observe these things. You had to go. Did you not curse you? Mm -hmm. So right here we have, because the eye is round in a sphere, this highlight kind of pops out, but we shape that with the dark's going around it. Spence says, I suffer from that too. I also read your point where I'm afraid to do any more because I might wreck it. Well, I think we all have that issue too. I think mm -hmm. the more art that you do though, I, I think that the more that that threshold gets pushed out um, yeah. because you become more confident and your skills get better. And so, but that's true for all artists. Like every artist, it, there comes a point, except, I don't know, May, there may be some artists that like do abstract work or something. I'm gonna switch over but, to the nine. But yeah. I'd say for most artists, so like there comes a point when you 
are looking at the piece and you're like, well, I can keep going, but I'm not sure if it would be beneficial. I, I think it tends to be a little harder with pyography and that with acrylics or watercolors or oils or colored pencils, you just keep layering until you're happy with it. Well, because you can do that with burning. We only got so far we can go. Yeah. Before we've just, sometimes it's just better to jump in and say, screw ups, be damn, and try. Well, you know, it's like, um, you know me, I like my metaphors and similes. It's like when you're doing like um, like painting, you can always paint over. So like yep. my, my inner monologue is more like a surfer dude. You know, it's like, yeah, maybe you could do it. Yeah, go for it. You know, whatever. <laughs> But I think with pyography, your your inner monologue is more like a little severe. It's it's probably like Snape, you know. <laughs> like, are you sure you want to do this? We've been liking Harry Potter. One more stroke, you ruin it, Valerie. You know what? That actually is not a bad, bad one. Um, on some level, yes, I'm gonna bump up to two and a half. Because yeah, you can go too far, and then like the wood can only take so much heat become before it becomes charred and. Like paint, you can just layer and layer yeah, forever. So have... it is a different thing. It is a different mechanism in place there for sure. Let's see here. What did I do? Kathy says, me too, Spence. I do walk away for a while and come back to it. That's a really good yeah. practice. Like when I get to the point where I'm like, hmm, I don't know what else to do on a piece, a piece of art, I will... Depending on what I'm doing in my studio, like, uh, you know, if I have other pieces, I'll put it to the side. But regardless of what I do with it, I'll also put it upside down because it helps me disassociate from it and see things that I wouldn't see otherwise. And I do. I'll walk away from it for a few days to see if when I come back, if, you know, if I'm like, oh, yeah, that needs to be fixed or, oh, it could be better or, you know. Sometimes, occasionally, rarely, um... I will come and and it'll be like wow, this, I'm happy with this. Of course, that may change years later when I look at it. And my <laughs> skills have improved, but just getting in now. Some of these highlights are not high highlights; they're just. David Albuquerque says, Pri "Private Eye <laughs> says I have already learned a lot using your techniques. This yeah. art is growing more and more in the world." I'm so glad. I think it is. Hmm. You know, Let's before see. I met you, I did not know. Like, I was aware of wood burning, but I think that I was a stereotypical person. Like, um, wood burning was, like, folksy. And, like, oh, you could use it to make a sign, you know. But um, I didn't, wasn't really aware that it was a fine art. Yeah, and, and there's nothing wrong with the signs. Absolutely nothing wrong. No. Or anything crafty like that. It's just not my forte. I bumped up my heat because I really need to get this dark shadow right here at the lid and eyeball. Mm. It, uh, Andrea is saying, well, it, autofocus is kind of weird, Andrea. Like, Did I not, I turned it on us or the, uh, well, it's kind of, I think Andrea's a blurry picture, but I think it's resolved now. Like, I don't see it. I but, don't have autofocus on. I intentionally turned it off. It looks good, I think. Yeah. It's, Unless Andrea is talking about something else. Yeah, autofocus isn't on. Well, it's, uh, I can't, I don't know. Just in case. I did bump up close to the piece. Uh, maybe it was just a little off. Maybe. All right. I'm just trying to get this shaped right. <laughs> you stopped moving, and I thought that the picture froze. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh. Because I'm watching you do it in real time, but I'm also monitoring what the, you know, what the stream is seeing, too. So I'm watching both. It could be a little confusing. Uh, these are just... No. No stream. Mmm. I don't see that, Andrea. This may be a problem. Let me back up. How about now? Oh, uh, it looks maybe. Or is it? It's not us. I turned all the autofocus. Well, no, our autofocus is on because we, we move around and 
it's okay if we are out of focus. For I'm, I'm waiting for Andrea to come back because I don't know if she's having a, a more serious problem with her stream or if she's just clarifying. She reset her connection. Oh, okay. Let's see. This is dark right here. Here we get that shape right. Casper Boo says, I have. Carrie. Carrie. I haven't fallen asleep. I'm engrossed watching Valerie do her magic, and thank you, Valerie, for doing this. Oh, you're welcome. That's very kind. Well, I had to figure out something to do, and you mentioned squirrels, so I went to see if I could find a cool photo of a squirrel. It is a cool photo of a squirrel. All right, let's put that shading in. Ah, Andrea's back. Connection is fine now. Oh, okay. Whew. All right. I'm going to just use the... The medium ball tip to do the next thing, and then I'll fill in the nose real quick, and we will move on to the short fur. We'll start filling it in right around here because we got this fur length right here on the nose is probably not too much different than the fur length we see here, but because the angle of which we're looking at the fur, and the easiest way I can try to explain this is here. You see, the, let me back this camera out. Let me back it out. All right, here, ooh, tighten. Here we see the whole picture, pencil, right? That we're looking straight on in this direction. But as we start turning the pencil and it changes directions, we start seeing less of the actual pencil. And then as it comes straight to us, all we see is the point. So a lot of times when there's really short fur, it tends to be a little longer than you think, but it's poking up. It's sticking straight up at you. So all you see is that little bit versus if it's, you know, going in this direction, we see a little bit more of it. No, you're going to poke me in the eye. Poke you in the eye. <laughs> so we have to, that, we have to pay attention to that. Stippling is your best bet for those really short, short furs. Mm -hmm. But let me quickly get the eye in and not get distracted from what I was doing. I mean, this highlight is lighter. So I need to lighten it up. Naturally, we can do the fur around. See, I'm not straight here. Let's get this straight. There we go. That feels a little bit better. In this so like here along the eye here no 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 stay focused do the nose do the nose <laughs> do the nose i can jump around when i'm just working with for for me i gotta remember to stay focused for you guys you think i'd have adhd it's just i see something i don't want to forget it so let's get this in so, Casper is who again? Carrie. Carrie. Okay, I thought so. I just want to make sure. So, the red squirrels are native to us in the UK. Love them. Well, here we have Albert squirrels. Yeah, those things are like cats. They're big. They're big, but they, they also have these same kind of tufts. Yeah, they do. They're gray, grayish colored, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know how big as the red squirrel is. Well, based on some of the pictures I was looking at, they get pretty big. This guy wasn't small. Where did Burl sneak in? <laughs> I'm looking because Spence says, hi, Burl. But I don't see Burl in chat. What's going on? <laughs> Private messaging Spence, Burl. You lurking, Burl. <laughs> come out. Show yourself. Come out. Come out wherever you are. I was hoping uh, Mike would show up because I, I'm ready to announce the merchandise. So Mike has changed his his profile picture a couple times, but when is he, he there? No, oh, I didn't no, see it. Not dark. But when he first joined the channel, he had a picture of Bender <laughs> from Futurama. Yeah. And I cannot read Mike's comments without hearing Bender's voice. <laughs> Like, it doesn't matter. Like, I, I know it's Mike, but it's just, I hear Bender. Uh, I'm going to quickly, just so I can detail, 
try, try to tighten up the shape because um, they feel off. I guess first impressions are important. <laughs> oh, Spence says she's coming. So Spence is clairvoyant. He probably messed with me. That's why he's a toasty. <laughs> You're a wizard, Spence. <laughs> Again, we've been watching Harry Potter. Yeah, expect that. Things get real interesting once we start watching Lord of the Rings. That's Sunday. Or Saturday night, yeah. sorry. All right. uh, Carrie says, did you say you're using a ball tip, Valerie? Right now I'm using the 9M. I did use the ball tip as I was starting with the nose. And I like feel like I screwed up the nose. So let's see if I can clean it up. Granted, I don't have any fur on the nose, too, and that could be also what's throwing me off. But it just feels, shape-wise, off. Try to lighten it with a little sandpaper. Smith says he's liking the merchandise you put up. Oh, thank you. I bought five pieces. <laughs> then again, if you don't... I'm looking forward to the coffee cup. Which one? We got two coming. Well, the one that I'm using, silly. <laughs> because I've had the Bernadette cup for a long time. And actually, I got a chip in mine. Oh. Yeah. But, uh, with, I mean, that's not a big deal. It's, it's porcelain. Ceramic. Not porcelain. It's ceramic. Mm -hmm. Um... But um, yeah, so but it would be cool to get a new, a new mug. And Just I, trying to lighten. I'm I know. Looking I'm forward to my ugly sweater, too. Yeah. I think your ugly sweater looks a little cooler, but mm. I intentionally made them look like PJs. Well, that is your aesthetic. Hey, <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> What are you saying? I don't know. I'm just saying that this, the shift for everybody working from home, was no big deal for you. <laughs> That's true. I'm gonna switch over to the 18s, so I can start shaping the nose because. It feels but really off. to be fair, I, I fall in that category yeah. too. Yeah. Because it's not like I'm. Like, I'm, I'm sure the neighbors are tired of seeing me. It throws me off on the do nose. stuff in my pajamas outside. <laughs> <laughs> because the tail is going up and into the fur, so it throws things off. So, yeah. oops, let me do this. There we go. Now, uh, the reason I had the board turned is I'm burning on short grain, and I needed to go with the grain. So I'll be using just the tip. Uh, if you if you if you want me to do graphics, let me know. I so I'll be doing just the tip. Oh. And getting in. I didn't even know you had that graphic. How long do you want that up there? Um. Just tell me when to take it out. All right. It's not blocking anything, right? No. It's well, not. no. You can go ahead and take it down. Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll give it a. I'll, I'll give it another minute. Burl is officially here. So I'm just using the tip and I'm just tapping. Carrie ordered a mug, but it doesn't mm -hmm. come with coffee. You know, you gotta put that in. Coffee doesn't travel well, doesn't ship well. So it gets cold and it separates. Then nobody's happy. So I'm just tapping, moving very quickly. You can already Kathy wants to know where to find the merchandise. I have it all linked down in the description. Kathy, it's on t interwebs. It's on the interwebs. I'm going to bump down to two. See, I really, really screwed the nose. I don't think you did. Yeah, I did. Let me see if I can... Uh, the link is there, Spence. I did, yes. It is in the... But... Um, I don't know what. Let me see. Real, 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 real quick. I can copy it and put it in the. Put it in the chat. There 
There we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look how fancy I did it you are. Pretty fast. Let's see. Let's see, I went a little too high on the dark in the back. I think that's part of the problem. Is this dark right here? Because it should be more hidden. I don't know that I'll be able to get it because I went pretty dark. See, that needs to be a little bit lighter. And then it'll make more sense. Alright, put the side in. And then I've bumped down to two, but because I'm using just the tip, it does tend to burn hotter. So I have to pay attention. So just tapping. Now this little longer because we see more of the side. I'll use the here on my camera. You can pop the shirt off. I'll use the side. I'm using the side, but I'm using the upper part of the tip. So it's not just the edge. It's also the side. And I'm trying not to be too straight with these lines because they overlap. Some are darker. But I do need to follow the direction of the face. So this part of the fur is going down because as it goes around the eye, it curves. So we need to, and I'm on two. I can move quicker and get the slider. Kathy says, sweet, thanks. I'll check it out after class. Awesome. Thank you. After class, mind you. After class. Professor. Give this in just little taps. And it'll start. Should you should you be wearing your hat there, Professor McGonagall? I'm too hot. I'm too hot. Alright. So let's go ahead and go around the eye. That'll be the best place for short fur. So following the direction of our eye. Remember it's round, so we have to follow this roundness. I'm going to go just to the tip, tap in, and that means I'm touching down, dragging, touching down, dragging, pulling away from my line. Which part of the, um, which part, or should I put up a graphic for you? Just the tip. Just the tip. Alright, I'm looking. And see if I tap and skip some areas and darken some areas and lighten some keep some other areas light and it breaks it up so it's not a solid line we don't want a solid line just the edge going with the direction of the fur now we can move faster i'm still on the edge but i'm moving faster you're not using the tip anymore you want me to put up the edge? No, you're using back to using the tip again. <laughs> it, see Stop that? changing so fast. Well, that's the way it goes. How can I keep up with you? You better learn. Uh, uh, Spence says it looks good. Thank I you. think so too, Spence. As I put more stuff in, the nose won't feel so off to me. Let's see, we're just getting. Softer fur would be more the tip just flat, moving quickly. Because we want it a little more blurry. We're not seeing the details of that fur. So we can move quicker. And we got some dark, let's see here. Tap just the side. I'm gonna get this dark spot of the ear in. Oh, my ear, my eye keeps. <sighs> Make sure I'm in the right spot, yep. Don't wanna put the ear hole in the wrong spot. Alright. So I haven't adjusted my heat, I'm just using the tip and going slower. Alrighty. 
Okay. Now this is lighter fur, so I'm just going to use more of the flat tip. Drag very quickly so we can get some of that depth. Kathy wants to know when I'm going to burn something. I, it depends on what the next project is. Like, I'm so you guys, a lot of you guys, uh, toasties are like way more advanced than I am um, because I am a learner when it comes to pyrography. So when Val does a project, like if it's specifically to like where I burn along, it's going to be a little simpler um, so that I can, you know, learn the concepts. Um, yeah, I need to be better about that instead of just throwing you in the deep end. So I'm letting you choose what to do. Well, <laughs> because then you'll choose something hard and then you'll get frustrated. That's, that's true. So I, I just need to. Which is which is actually what people do. When they go into, you know... That's why I let you do it. Um, so, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what the next project is, I guess. We've talked about it. Like, every every project that we start, Valerie asks me, like, are you doing this one? And sometimes it's a matter of, like, if there's other stuff going on or if we don't, you know, like... Because when we set up for both of us to burn, there's a lot more going on. And then, like, I don't reach at and... Um, so, like, I, I don't know when the next time that I'll burn, but I will be burning again, so. See, right now it all looks dark, and it's actually going to go darker. So just short fur is short strokes. Make sure you overlap, kind of do a, the X or C motion. And follow the direction but you have to overlap it tends to be easier if you start more at the bottom and then go up in the direction you're doing because then you're overlapping your last stroke let's get that in there and then I overlap I do vary this length of the stroke Still keeping it short. See, this is more just the tip flat because this is softer fur. It doesn't have as much detail to it. So we got a whisker here. And these whiskers are dark, so I can actually go ahead and put them in so I don't lose them and they're out of my way. So we have the thinner. And then we have a thicker one, so angle the pin. We're buffering. Sorry, I had to drag that line. We got to reset the, the router. Is that what you want me to do? All right, we're done. No, I'm talking about before the lies. We got to reset the router. Okay. So I, I had to finish that line. I couldn't stop in the middle. Um, so we'll do the next one. This is a thicker one also. So I'm angling a little bit more down so it makes the line thicker. And then we got the thinner ones. And this one you need to try to move in one stroke. See, do I have any more on this side? I'm just trying to get them out of the way. Some of them will be darker, some will be lighter. I'm not worried about the other side. Alrighty. So go back to flat. Drag. It softens the, the stroke. See, now I can burn over this area and I won't lose my whiskers. Whiskers can be a pain. Um, looks like oh, a dot there. Sometimes we do need the pore showing. The hair bed thingy. Alright. Let's put another one here. Just uh, There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and go back down to two. And I don't have to worry about the whiskers. 
So here we see a variation in color. I need to switch over to, because this is one thing um, that makes a difference. So we've been looking at the color, which shows us all the detail. Let's look at the sepia one, because now that's showing us our tonal values. So we know where to go lighter and darker. It looks different. It's, it reads different than it did when we were looking at the color. And that's why I highly recommend using both. Sheila, that was buffering. It wasn't just you. Um, we're aware of it. Uh, hopefully it doesn't happen again, but we'll see. Um, Ron is wondering. Hi, Ron. Uh, Ron Swanson? We didn't say hi to Ron. Ron just popped up. Well, then I got to say hi to Ron. Okay. Okay. We done? Yeah, I think so. No. Because Ron is wondering if you could recommend a good pyrography machine. Optima One. Uh. The Optima One. <laughs> that is what I'm currently using. And, and what's the most important thing to consider when choosing one? But um, I have a blog post on that. It's linked down. In. It's linked in the description? Yep, for okay, the blog. So there you go, Ron. Um, if the you, Optima One. If you're around this community for long enough, you find out that there's there's maybe a bias it's not a bias because <laughs> i bought all the damn machines i know i know i, I know. spent lots and lots of money trying to find the best one yes before i started doing this That's true and you did that for the peoples i know you did well the optima i, I purchased the optima for the peoples to test it and yep. fell in love with it yeah you didn't think you were nope and then you did and i did all righty so I'm just going to go ahead and use just the tip and drag. In fact, that also goes to uh, to this. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Powered by Optima. <laughs> I just wanted to show. I'll pop, I'll pop that up again later, but it's in the way. All right. So I'm not trying to go solid. That way I have that variation in the fur, the different coloring. So if I just drag and move around, drag in the right direction, following the right direction. And for anybody wondering, um, we're not sponsored no, by No, I'm not sponsored by anybody. No, but we, we do, we're not we, it's you. You have... Um, I, I have a relationship yeah, you with Yeah, you got a, a, a working relationship with Optima, so. Uh, That's that, because I can call and, and bitch about something I don't like, and we can have a discussion as to why I don't like it. Yeah. All right. So, I'm trying to see... Trying to find like another dark spot so we can kind of focus on that. We have a little bit of, of like a heart. Let's see here. Why do I feel like that? I should go darker. Now that I can see the eye tonal value, I'm fixing it. Just a tip. Does this it definitely feels too bright? And that's why the sepia is good. Just helps to read just the tonal information. There we go. Is that reading a little bit better? I think so, yeah. Just the tip. Sorry, I was holding my breath so I could get that right. But I have to remember it won't necessarily look completely right until I get more fur around the eye. So just tapping, moving quickly. I can go up a little bit to two and a half. 
Um, Casper looked on eBay and Amazon, and option machines are not listed. No, they are not. Uh, Pat intentionally does not list on Amazon. Um, because Pat makes certain things a certain way. And he doesn't, he does, just like he doesn't ship to China, he doesn't want his stuff stolen. Plus, Amazon takes too much. Um, there's some things that Pat didn't like about the contract with Amazon. So, um. So he's not doing Amazon. Well, how, how would he find it then? Uh, CarverTools.com. Okay. That's also linked in the description. Okay, so there's a link in the description. Okay, yeah. so I have to back up here because sometimes chat, sometimes uh, what happens is that one of your comments won't pop up. It'll just pop up randomly a little later. And Spence had a question that just mm -hmm. popped up. Okay. For me, anyway. Okay. So if, if the whiskers were white, how would you burn them or would you use white to do them later? I would do use white to do them later. Okay. It's just so much easier. Yeah, because if you... If you, if you were to try and leave the white, they're so They become thin. haloed and... Yeah, they, 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 they don't read as whiskers anymore. They look like little lightsabers because they... Yeah. Yeah, so it's... It's also why I don't use a Dremel because I, and I, have, I have tiny, tiny bits, but they still make it too thick. Um, so I got to remember not to go up into the long hair because we're doing that next week. Gotcha. I'm just putting in the short fur. You're still using the tip? I'm, just, I'm still using the tip, and I um, I will do most of this. In fact, I will probably I will do all this fur with the 18. I don't tend to like skews. They're too thin for me. But I can get a thin line with this. I, I just... I don't feel comfortable with it. I know other people love their skews. I don't. I'm um, not one of those. Clackers Clark is here. Good morning. First hey, Marcus. Live. Cat woke me up at 3.40 a.m. <laughs> well, probably won't last long. Well, thank long. you, the cat. <coughs> Excuse me. Need a drink. That was Marcus. He's in Japan. Oh, okay. Okay. He was the first president I was working on. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, I see. I see. He's a toasty. Mm -hmm. Or he, he. He. Okay. He's the one I accidentally called at ten o'clock at night while we were in bed. Oh. Okay. Remember? Yeah, yeah. And he's looking at me like, is something wrong? <laughs> yeah. That. Yes. That was. Funny. That was an accident. Sorry. No, he was up. It was during the day for him. Oh, I, yeah. Right, this needs to go darker now that I'm putting more stuff in. This needs to go darker. Huh. Earl C says if you want something off of your Teespring, mm -hmm. you got to order soon. Stuff keeps going out of stock. Yeah. But they're... I don't know if they're replacing stuff or if they're having stock issues. Oh, uh, okay. And all the Super Toasties already have their discount codes. Gotcha. Alrighty. Gotcha. I already did that. So see, because I'm doing short overlapping directional strokes, it looks like we have lighter fur in there. And that's just because I'm giving variation to my stroke. I had to put this dark in there so that we can see the little shadow. But now we know this goes darker. Trying. So over and over again, I'll go back and forth. But for short fur, it's always short strokes. And for long fur, it's always longer strokes. In the direction of what you're going over. Meaning a jaw, the fur changes directions when it goes over from the nose to the jaw, around the mouth, and we need to follow those directions. We're following the muscle and the fur, or um, 
bone because that's how fur lays on the animal. And I can always go back and put some more darks in just to get more variation. We can take some pencil off. See right now it looks like a bunny because I don't have everything else in. Huh. The bunny, the and shape of the head. Yeah, the shape of the head is similar to a bunny. Hmm. So everything I'm doing with a squirrel, if you're doing a bunny, it's the same exact um, way of doing it. So just the side drag, moving quickly. Again, I'm on two and a half. Other than I bumped up a little bit for the nose, um, I haven't gone over two and a half for any of the fur. Huh. That's interesting. What's that? Well, um, Clackers? Marcus. Marcus, that's what's up. Okay. Says he wants a better machine than he has now, but Japan runs on 100 volts. So, and then importing, he's worried it might not burn hot enough, and importing is going to cost money. Yeah, that is, uh, yeah, that is a, a conundrum there because it is. I'm not sure, like, how. Like what? What you might? We're running on one ten. What you might do, uh, Marcus, is because the um, I'm I'm retired military, and wherever you go in the world, you know, you take your stuff with you, and it's all you know for us. It's all American stuff, and um, so there's converters, there's transformers that convert, you know, whatever the local voltage is into your your preferred voltage preferred voltage that's compatible with your appliances so you might look into that because you might have to find a transformer to um i would talk to pat yeah um he even if you're not buying an optima he can give you a lot more insight yeah i'm gonna bump down to one and a half because this is really light fur it's like almost white but white is never just white yeah, but uh, transformers usually are a step down, uh, meaning that they're taking a higher voltage because most of the world runs on 220 to 240. Except for us, we're 110. Exactly. And so, you know, we're the exception, you know. Well, obviously um, Japan, too. Yeah, Japan runs even lower um, than us, but it's a, it's a higher, um, I'm, I, I don't know. I don't know voltage. That's why I'm saying he needs to talk to Pat. Yeah. And Pat can. Yeah. Can Talk to an expert, him. which yep. is not me. This is true. Hey. Well, it's true. Well, the truth hurts. Well, can't do nothing for you on that one. Wow. Yeah. All right. So just shaping this up. I need a little darker. I'll slow down and just use the edge of my pen. Bring some of this fur in. See, right here we have a whisker, too. I forgot that's what that was. Right. So let's erase. This go it goes pretty fast. Once you get going, right now, don't worry about the exact tonal value because once we put in the long fur and we shape the white fur everything else is going to end up going darker so don't worry about having the exact tonal value right now because we're going to go back and adjust we're just blocking in we want it kind of close so we know what we're doing so when we look at it we're like ah okay that's this like here, I totally forgot the eye. But I'm actually going to use this pen because we only see a sliver of the eye. And then we get this. That needs to go darker now. And this is lighter fur. Just tap and drag, tap and drag, moving. 
following the direction. Again, everything is going to be darker. Right now we just need to get in our directional uh, fur so we don't lose our place. Just makes things easier. Just tap and drag. I, I'm doing, this is flat, just the tip, and this is the egg, just the tip. I know it's hard to see on camera. Let me see if I can do this. Let's see. Angle it like this. So just the edge tip. Just the edge? Yeah, but I don't have a... You don't have a... Not for this one. Oh. Because I'm using both the tip and the edge. So you're using even less. Yes, I'm using even less huh. of the real estate of the pen tip. Gotcha. And then flat. Flat drag. Overlapping. Always go back and put darker stuff in. And then just tapping. Right now I'm at one and a half. I'm trying to keep the news. Tap, tap, tap. Move quickly. You can use a ball tip for this as well. For the, the shorter fur, but I'm okay with using this tip for now. Let's bring that up. Slowly starting to look like a nose. I, I believe Oof. it looks like a nose already, though. Pretty clearly. So. Yeah. This is a little dark. Well, I don't think so. What? You said it's a little dark, but... No, I said this is all dark. And I was, oh, okay. I was filling in an area. I misheard you. Yeah, no, I'm filling in an area that feels better now. Mm -hmm. That I've got some darks in it. Gotcha. I kept saying the nose felt off, but now that I've got some other darks, darkers... It feels better. You know, we actually, um, I just realized something. When we were talking about this last night, we were like, hey, we might not have very many people in. Well, know, because of the time change and everybody right, forgetting. But, but we do have, we got, um, you know, we, we've got a dozen people with that's us awesome. here. So that's, that's very cool. We're, because I was looking at the time, we're nine minutes from noon. Oh, okay. Um, well, let's start getting into questions then. Put my burner off. Yes, Kathy. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. Thank Absolutely. you for the reminder. Thank you for all the thumbs up that you all have given us. I appreciate it. Every thumbs up helps. Yep. And see, right now, it, it's looking harsh. And that's because we don't have anything else in. We don't have the dark of the tail, the white of the tummy, um, more highlights in the fur to shape, like along the cheek here. So... Deep breath, bear with it, with it. It's gonna be ugly until it's not ugly anymore. I wonder if I need a t-shirt that says that. It'll be ugly till it's not ugly. I don't know, that's a little long, isn't it? It is a bit. <laughs> We're gonna have to like, Shorten it. It's ugly till it's not? It's ugly till it's not. Or there's always an ugly stage. That's you, you always say that. Okay, there's always an ugly stage. Yep. So, yeah, we can do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop You're messing it with my mind. I didn't, for some reason, I didn't register that you'd grab the mouse. And I'm like, it's <laughs> moving on its own. Things are popping up. There we go. I just wanted to. Oh, uh, sweatshirt, sweatshirt? Yeah. See, I'm just not a sweatshirt guy. Well, you got an ugly sweatshirt. Well, that's different. That's Christmas. That's right, Andrea. You can do this. See, I... Andrea said she was a little standoff if she had put that she was going to wait to see what it looked like. And I felt I was harsh in my comment because I was like, nope, you can do this. But it, to me, read harsh. So I made sure to apologize. But absolutely, you can do this. I know you can do this. I know all of you can do this. Now, the paid members have this pattern. 
I did put another squirrel photo in the big Facebook group because I can't share this photo. I'm not, I have I have it altered so I can in the paid membership group, but I'm not going to post it in the big group. So I have another squirrel photo that's close. He, you know, it's kind of a close pose that I found on Pixabay. You will do the exact same things that I did here with this one so far. So I will make sure to get all the short stuff in because next week we're going to do the long fur. And we're only going to do two lives for this. The short fur and the long fur because we did go over the eyes. We looked at the whiskers. But I think the tail and the ear tufts, they really they need their own. And just shaping because that's where the squirrel's going to come alive. It's going to come alive? You're freaking me out. <laughs> All right. Nothing new about that, is there? Me freaking out? No. Yep. No. No, no. Is, I guess it, is it time? Uh, I don't know. I'm waiting for any any questions. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe like you were on. Oh, you subscribed. Subscribe. We'd love to have you. Hit the notification bell. Mm hmm Yep. Go live every Tuesday. New time is now set. Every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. Why do you look like you were going to do something? I don't know. I know I'm asking you to type quickly. <laughs> hey. hey. Oh, come on. Come back. There we are. All right, we're going to finish this up. Ron, your question would be basswood and birch. Probably basswood to start off with your with being new because it's easier and it's a little more forgiving and... It burns a little faster. So I would say start off with basswood um, and go from there. And now let's quickly get this in. You know what to say. Say yeah. it with me. Yes. You're awesome. Yeah. You can do this. Do it. Why? Because you're a pyro artist. Do it. Happy burning, guys. Bye. This hood is warm. Yeah. Yeah. I can't see very good. That just went live. What?